the name of Jesus. Thank you for this morning. This is a new morning which has never existed. Nor will it ever exist. We humble ourselves before you. May you speak into our hearts. May you quicken our understanding. Change our being that we may learn that we may walk according to you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Uh, I thank God that last week we had started on to a certain thing something to walk out to walk with God I told you it is very important in the lives of believers to walk a life of you relating with God you walk with God you enjoy your journey with God and you enjoy your salvation so it is very important for each one of us to have a fellowship with God even to walk with God there is a day a man Abraham rather Adam when he felt God was walking in the garden but man could no longer walk with God he had fallen away from the grace he had fallen away from the glory so for that reason when he had God walking he could no longer walk with him for the Bible says in in, 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 in in the book of Genesis chapter 3 verses 8 Genesis 3 8 says then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day and they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden but the Lord God said the, the the called, called to the man where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden. I was afraid because I was naked. So I hid myself. So when you hear this, man used to know the steps of God he could hear the sound of the steps so he could come out that he may walk with God so it was habitual to man that each and every time he could hear the sound of God and the sound of his steps so he could easily walk with him because he could hear that this is God but this time he, was, he felt unworthy to walk with God a sinful man who is naked now to walk with the Holy God. So he felt he could not. And God came 
Katonda najja. But still he had his voice. He, he had the yenge. sound of his steps. And God called upon Adam. Era Katonda na Adam. And he said, Adam. Adam. Where are you this time? I, 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 I always don't call you. You always hear the sound of my walking. You, and you come out and we walk together. Now what is happening? The man never rejected that God today never had the sound of your foot. He said, I've had you walking. I had you walking. But I feared to come out. He reported himself. That I hid myself. Because I feel I'm one. I'm naked. Amen. Amen. So from day one, as God was creating man, he created man in his own image, in his own likeness, so that they may walk together. Amen. Amen. So now, this is what was happening. When man fell short of God's glory, he could no longer walk with God. That's where he lost his journey, his walk with God. So, but today I'm not going to go so deep into that. Today I would like to, 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 to cruise through the, uh, uh, the benefits of we walking with God. When we walk with God, there are unnumbered numerous benefits that, that we get from the Lord. But I'm going to only be able to share something like five of them. So the benefits of, of, of our walking with God, they are both eternal and the present. When we walk with God, God changes us. He transforms us. He transforms us into his being. So when you walk with God, the benefits and the, and the advantages will always outweigh the, the life without God. You will always outweigh the other side. I personally, I can testify that the life I'm living today is far, 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 much better. Busingira wala wala nyodala. The life I used to live. Obulamu we nabera ngamweda. Without God. Ngasirina katonda. It was a life of trouble. Bwari bulamu wa mitawana. Of stress. Bulamu wa kunyikala. Of bondage. Bulamu wa busive. Going through hard times. Ngoita mubirevi kakali. But life with God. Na yobulamu ngorine katonda. In fact, when you tell me. What, what, what do you honor in, in your life most? I don't honor cars. I don't honor, uh, 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 I don't honor houses. I, I, I don't honor lands. I honor God in my life. Because each and everything I am today he has been God. He has been there for me. I've seen his scriptures being fulfilled. That whoever is on the side of God will never lack anything. I, I, I read a scripture. It was in the book of Psalms. It was chapter 34. And I saw that people who walk with God, for sure they are a blessed people. 
Mazima dala baba bantu abawere dwo mukisa. Psalms chapter 34. Kakati zaburi ya ma 10 ya 3 mwenya. Verses 10. He says the lions may grow weak and hungry but those who seek the Lord will lack nothing good. The Bible says the young lions lack food and suffer hunger but they who seek inquire of and require the Lord by right of their need by right of their need and on the authority of his word. None of them shall lack any beneficial thing. But even lions they can go hungry they can feel weak yet they are so strong they can grab anything they can grab any prey and it eats it but the Bible says though they are strong they can go Minus food. They can go hungry. But those who fear God, those who seek God, those who walk with God, will never lack anything. Yahweh. The people that fear God and they walk with the Lord, they will never lack anything good. The young lions may grow weak and they suffer hunger. But I, Jonathan, if I walk with the Lord and I seek the Lord and I Take God to be my friend. I will never lack anything good. Amen. 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 Even in the Psalms 84, verses 11 says, Verse 84. Verses 11 says, For the Lord God is the Son and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk, whose walk is blameless. Because they for those who walk with him they are blameless the Bible says we have no condemnation in Christ Jesus. so when we are in him when we walk with him he says no good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. So you talk about witchcraft. Talk about anything that can hinder you. God has no limit. And he will never hinder God. If you walk with God, you are walking with the unhindered person. No one will ever hinder you. The truth of the matter, the witchcraft is there. 
And it affects so many. And I've seen so many witchcraft. But let me tell you. And I've seen people bewitching me. But because I have God. And I walk with God. I'm walking with an unhindered God. Tambula ne katondo ya tazi yuzika. Talk of anything you can do. If you say that uh, uh, if I get a hair from your way, I can cut them off and I give them to you. If I get just his hair, I can make him mad. I cut them off. I don't always grow my hair at all like my, 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 my cold hair. But this time, I can grow them so, so that I can cut them off and I give them to you. Because those who walk with their God they know whom they are walking with is a hand-hindered God. The Bible says he's the God that makes the witches to become mad. Do you know how he Do you know how he makes them mad? They, 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 how do they grow mad? They swear wherever they hinder you. You are progressing. Wherever they try to, to put strongholds you, you are going ahead. People who fear God, who walk with God, they are unlimited. You cannot limit them. So there are a lot of benefits when we walk with God. He sees no good thing. Will he withhold from those who walk uprightly? From those who ye. walk with him. Ye. If you walk with him, ye. everything is possible. Everything is possible. Tell me someone who has succeeded in life. I will show you a person who walks with God. Amen. Amen. Tell me a person who is successful in life. I'll tell you that that person walks with God. The life of people who walk with God is supernatural life. It's not this common life. It's not this normal usual life. People who walk with God they walk an unusual life. You cannot understand them. As you cannot understand where it started from and where it will end. That's how you cannot understand these people. I want you to become that ununderstandable person. A person who walks with God. You know, when people look at you, for sure they don't understand. You are unexplainable. Because the one whom you are walking with, he is unexplainable. It is very hard to. No, explain. Explain. You cannot explain that he is like such so and such a thing. he gets his image uh, and he gives it to those who fear him. And he, those who walk with him. Amen. Amen. Now, benefit number one is that we shall attain eternal life. Eternal life. We can be sure 
that we have eternal life. That is a life that goes beyond the one we are living in. There is life beyond which life we are in now. For those who walk with God, they live a life but even now after this life they are not able to get out. They live a life but even after this life there is a life ahead of them. To the one who, 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 who walks with God is, is more assured assured of heaven. is very assured of heaven. Let me tell you. Things don't just happen. Should I repeat this? Things don't just happen. When the Bible says Bible in John chapter 3 verses 16 you shall discover that God had to put on flesh and he came into the world to save mankind. But when he saved mankind, one of the reasons he says he saved him, he was to attain eternal life. For the Bible says, for God so greatly loved and dearly prized the world that he even gave up his own begotten unique son so that whoever believes in trusts in clings to relies on him shall not perish all come to destruction all be lost but to have eternal, everlasting life. He never gave up gave us his son that we may go into destruction that we may be lost no, he gave us his son that we may attain eternal life there is life ahead of this life there is life after this life which we shall have in heaven so people who walk with God they are walking in on earth yet they are in, in heaven is that, is that statement clear? People who walk in this, uh, who walk with God, they walk with God here on earth, but in heaven. They walk in heaven while still on earth. Yes, I think so. While you are still on earth, you can test God. You can touch Him. You can experience Him. You can experience His love. You can experience His power. You can experience His authority. That's what is in heaven. So when you are on earth, but you are able to enjoy those benefits. You are walking in heaven on earth. So you going to heaven. It won't be miraculous. You would have walked in heaven. Before. So people who, that's why Enoch. When we saw in the book of Genesis, the Bible says, Enoch walked with God until he was no more. He walked with God one day when they walked. They just discovered that they were in heaven. 
That's why the Bible says Enoch never tasted death. He just went with his body to heaven. Why? Because he is the one man who walked with God. He walked with God. So when you walk with God, you, you, when you, you find yourself in heaven, you would not see something different. Because you, the life you have been in has been a heavenly life. In heaven there is worship. You have been worshipping. Heaven there is bowing down. You have been bowing before God. In heaven people walk with God. They enjoy his presence. You have been on earth walking with God. Enjoying his presence. Am I clear? So, we, <laughs> so it is very important to cultivate a life. Cultivating. Yes, you cultivate a life of walking with God. You cultivate a life of walking with God. Let me tell you something. All these things we are doing, they are good to the glory of his name. But let me tell you something. They will never yield anything good in your life unless you cultivate a life of Walking with God. I may be a good organist. When I get here, let me try and answer. I may be good. When they start to, to play the drums, everyone says, wow. What kind of this man? And, but if I don't cultivate a life of working with God, I'm doing nothing. That's why I'm wondering where these boys have been all this week when we are seeking God. You think that playing that piano not only only Without even fearing God. We used to say that they are not Christians. They don't even fear God. But they play those machines. But playing a machine, it doesn't make you a good person. A, 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 a well standing person. Being here and I sweep the floor, it doesn't make you a right standing 
It is the way you cultivate your life of walking with God. That's why one preacher said that I don't give my boys in church or girls in church to, into marriage. To, to the believers. Because believers are so many. But people who walk with God who cultivate their lives. They station their lives. They organize their lives. And they order their lives to walk with God. There are few. Are there are few. Sitting on the camera and on a mixer light. And you mix these lights but and they fold a bit. If you don't align your life, and you Choose one day and you say, God, I think I need to know you more. I think I need to understand you more. I think there is something I'm still missing. You are in the born again Christians. You do what they do. But you are not what they are. Mm-hmm. So you are walking with God. What makes a difference is you to sit down. You make a, you, 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 you examine your life. After examining it, you station your life. You organize it. And order that life. To walk with God. To say, let it everything, let everything happen. Let the troubles of the world come. I've chosen one thing. To walk with God. This week we are going to fast. We cannot talk and receive. You clap with those who clap. No, Bobu Garo, Namuni Mutimo Gamba. Ah, I think I get it. I do that. Amen. Amen. Very soon, Mangunya Dala, we are going to implement a chair in our church. Existing. That people who walk with God, they can go ahead and worship. They can go ahead and, and serve God. Very soon, one day you shall discover this. One day. Let this go to the we musician. We may go through a full month. Two months. Without these machines. Not because they are, they, they are not functioning. 
we need to cultivate our life. Na yetu yetagwa okuteka take obulamu bwafe. We should know very well. Tuteko kuchimanya bulunji. That there are moments in life. Ndi waliwe bisera mbulamu. Here in church. Wano mukanisa. Lojo kujja. When you will come. Ngenanga weli. When the piano is there, ne jazzwele. When the drums are there, ne jita wezili. And the bass jitters are there, atenga bikola bulungi. And they are functioning well. Nenga tugambe tetugenda bikwata. And we say we are not going to use them. Kubanga our worship is not all about this. Because okusinza kwa fete kukolebwa bino bivuga. Is come as bino bituwerekera ko buwerekezi. It is more important we go deep in God so that we may inherit that eternal life. So we should know very well Number two, when you walk with God, He will give you what we call a divine wisdom. Agenda kuwa chetuita amageza agobwa katonda. Our, our human wisdom has, has no comparison with the wisdom of God. You cannot compare it with the wisdom of God. A person who walks with God does not walk in this worldly wisdom. That's why in First Corinthians, I think chapter three, around there, he talks about the wisdom. Wisdom from God will always supersede the wisdom of man. First Corinthians chapter two. When you go to verse 14, let us read chapter, 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 chapter what? Chapter 1. Sula esoka. The Bible says, Bible gamba. For the message of the cross is foolishness to, to those who are perishing. Obomo salaba busiru siru eriaba vula. But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. Verses 19 says, For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, the intelligence of the intelligence. I will frustrate them. Verses 20 says, Where is the wise man? Where is the where is the teacher of the law? Where is the philosopher? No, you can some philosopher. Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since the wisdom, it, for since in the wisdom of God. The world through its wisdom did not know him. God was pleased through the foolishness of what was preached to save. Jews demand signs and Greeks look for wisdom. The Greeks seek for the signs. And the Jews seek wisdom. The Jews seek. The Greeks seek wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified. A stumbling block to the Jews. And foolishness to the Gentiles. But to those who God has called, both Jews and the Greeks, Christ is the power of God. 
Kristo ge manyiga katonda and the wisdom of God era ge magezi ga katonda for the foolishness of the of God kubango busiru siru bwa katonda is wiser than the human wisdom ge magezi agasinga magezi ga bana baba and the weakness of God no bunafu bwa katonda is stronger than the human strength ge manya gasinga manya ga bantu verses 27 says but God chose the foolish, the foolish things of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak things of the world to shame the strong. So when you read and you go deeper, you shall see that the wisdom of God supersedes the wisdom of human beings. So when you when you walk with God, you shall walk in the wisdom of God. Just that because you don't understand what I'm saying. When, when you get saved, God puts his spirit in you. Who gives that divine wisdom? When you go into the book of Colossians, verses 1, chapter 1, verses 9, the Bible says, for this reason, since that day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you. We continually ask God to fill you with the knowledge of his will. Through all wisdom, and understanding that the spirit of God gives. He gives you understanding and he gives you wisdom. Most of us, because we have not cultivated the life to work with God, we have not attained that wisdom. You cannot easily get to know what God's purpose is. How really God wants you to conduct your life. You, you, you still look in the worldly way of, of things. Uh, 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 you, you still look at the professions you have. You still look at the, 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 the technical know-how. You still look at the, the, the philosophical ways of life. Even you still calculate things and put things together. And say, when I had this and do this and do this, I'll get this. But if you get and attain God's wisdom. To the world it may seem to be foolishness. But it is wisdom from God. You just give it time. Even the world should give it time. They shall discover that for sure that was wisdom from above. You may choose to engage into anything. And people criticize you and judge you. And they throw all sorts of insults on you. But if what you are doing is a divine wisdom, that's the world how it sees it. It will see that that is foolish. But the Bible says what is foolishness to the world? Wow. It is wisdom to God. And what God calls, and what the world calls wisdom, it is foolishness to God. So, I think we should get out of our wisdom. 
And we embark on to the wisdom of God. We call upon the wisdom of God. For the Bible says in the book of James. That is there anyone who lacks in wisdom. Let him call upon God. Let him ask God. Who is full of wisdom. And he cannot re re resist releasing that wisdom. Amen. Amen. When you don't know what to do, chakola. if you don't know what to do, always ask God. Sometimes we find ourselves in a state of confusion. We don't know what, what, which direction you should take. Always ask God his divine wisdom. And you shall, he will always give away. The Bible says he is omniscient. He is all-knowing. He is omnipresent, but he is omniscient. He is all-knowing. Amen. Amen. Even in, in, in 2 Corinthians, uh, 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 chapter 2, verses 9 says, there is where he says, however, as it is written, that is 1 Corinthians 2, 9. 1 Corinthians 2, 9. The Bible says, however, as it is written, what no eye has seen. What no ears had. And what no man's mind has conceived. Are things God has prepared for those who love him. These, these are things. God has revealed to us by his spirit. The spirit searches all things even the deep things of God. That what no man, no eye has ever seen. What no ear has ever heard. What you have never perceived in any human mind. Uh, is what the Lord has prepared for those who walk with him. Who walk uprightly with him. But the Bible says. But the spirit of God. Has revealed them to us. Just imagine. No eye has ever seen it. No eye ever seen it. No ear has ever heard it. No human mind has ever perceived it. God has already prepared them there. But how have you get how have you got to know them? What have you got to know them? The spirit of God has revealed because the spirit searches all the deep things of God. Things which are mysterious. Things which are mystery. People, things the world cannot understand. Things the world cannot know. The Spirit of God knows them. And He has revealed them to us. Amen. Amen. That's why sometimes a person comes to me. 
last time, those days I used to talk, to tell them. But the Lord is refused me. No. I used to tell them. A person can come before you. Because he needs something to eat. And he deceives you. And he lies. Those days I used to tell them. You were lying. <laughs> so until Okutusa. God told me. Because they are looking for food. Give them food. But don't give you as you are giving. Don't give them. Because, the, because of what they are telling you. Because he's lying for food. <laughs> Do you know why? The Spirit of God can tell you. Whatever is speak, this person is speaking. Is a lie. Now you look at the hunger. And you work on the hunger. <laughs> Not working on the words he's saying. <laughs> So the spirit of God can searches around and he reveals to us. That is not wisdom from men. That is wisdom from above. You are still finding problems just because of one reason. I don't say that who is told by the speed that doesn't fall in problem. It just comes abruptly. Ask yourself. Do I have the spirit of God in me? Because the Holy Spirit will always tell you. There is a certain gentleman who came here on last Sunday. When he came here, he came in the second service. Almost towards the end of the second service. When I saw him, uh, 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 there is something the Lord had told me. Uh, that he will come. God revealed it to me on Sunday. That he was, on Friday that he was to come on Sunday. So what the Lord, what he was coming for, I, 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 I prepared it for him. When he came, uh, I had taken very long time to hear from him. When he came, I told him, God told me on Friday that you shall come on Sunday. So I prepared what you are coming for. Uh, go with it. He told him, how did you know? On Friday, God spoke to me through a dream. A person who walks with God, you walk a supernatural life with a supernatural wisdom. The person comes to speak to you. And inside of you, you feel something. Amen. So divine wisdom. Then uh, there is another benefit. Uh, of, uh, be, uh, I think we shall start from there next week. Amen. Amen. Let us start from there next week. Because of the time. Eh? 
in the name of Jesus. Who says for sure I I need God's wisdom. Amen. I mean, uh, 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 for sure we need it. Who says I need eternal life. I think you need to walk with God. It is a way. Cultivate. O sala wono teka teka. Your life. Obula mo. Ngabula bi nimi robu baji teka teka. As you see the garden being cultivated. Gabana ji simba mu ensigo. If they are to sow seeds in that garden. Now we teka teka obula mo. You also cultivate your life. Kurecho cho ya gala cho ya ya nila. For what and what you want to be. And, and what you take as most important in your life. It's what God will fill you with. If your desire is to walk with him. You will walk with him. For the Bible says in the book of James. That draw, to, draw closer to me. He says, draw closer to the, to the Lord Almighty God. And he will draw closer to you. The more you, you choose to say, let me walk towards God. He walks towards you. One person said, when you take one step towards God, he takes a thousand steps towards you. Only one step you take, he takes a thousand. When he takes, you take two. He takes two thousand. Amen. Amen. Who says amen? Amen. So let us walk with God. Uh, the prize is worth it. Engure daregwani de. When you walk with God, even these people around you, they will know it. No one walks with the king and people don't notice it. We had a crusade in, 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 in Iganga. Namungari. We had a crusade there. But we, we called that crusade. crusade one night with the king. It changes your entire life. One night. And you stay it with the king. <laughs> no, 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 Shulake Wakabake Chirochim. You might come back when you are one of the landlords. So just one walk with God. Just one day. Ask Manoa. Manoa, Just one day. 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 like this. God comes in. Katonda na ingirao. He says, "What is happening?" Naga chiche chige na maso. Ha 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 ha. I'm growing old. Nka 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 diye. Look at my chick. Look at my wife. Nka diye. Look at my wife. Tunuli da muchare mbugu mbugu. But we are barren. We have no son. Tunuli na muana wano. God says, "Hey." Katonda na gama muana. Hey. Hey. Choga mbaje. Just say one walk. Naga ndi kutambula kumulundi gumbwe guti. You know what? Omani. Your wife. He's gonna give birth. Again, I could zero one. Is it true? 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 But, but when he gives birth, when she gives birth, na yibu gana zero one. That child will be a Nazarene. Oh, muano ya gena kuba muwonge. Don't cut off his hair. Temo musala kemviri. When the, wa the woman is pregnant, she should not take any alcoholic thing. In this season, 
Between now and your miracle. Live a life of walking with me. It's so happened. And they gave birth to Samson. And the person they gave birth to, he was a judge of Israel. And the Bible says, God led him to win so many battles for Israel. But do you know where that miracle came from? From the two old man and wife. John the Baptist, how did he come? He came out of people who walked with God. Very old in their years. But they feared God. God visited them. Told them, you know what? You will have a you will have a child. Ah, the woman grew pregnant. Before she got pregnant, the words John used. God had to make him blind. Rather a deaf. Without speaking. Let me tell you. People, when, when God comes in, strange things happen. Strange things happen. When it so happens that God enters, visits your life, strange things happen. Enjoy your work with God. The benefits are marvelous. And tremendous. May God bless you. And let him indeed bless you. Amen. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your goodness and your mercy. You have shown us for those who walk uprightly with you. They will, you will never withhold anything good from them. Lord, we thank you because you have set us apart in this generation. You have set this church in this generation as a church which will teach people to walk uprightly with you, to walk in your ways, to know who you are, to understand who they are God is. Lord, what we are doing for you is good. But it is very important that we cultivate a life of walking with you. That we may be our friend. We may relate with you. As he used to walk with man in garden. And Lord, may you walk with us. We break the powers of sin. That hinders our walk with you. We break every form of wickedness. with our walking with you. We break every stronghold. Every ancestral spirit that has been laying us back from walking with you, Lord. We walk with you, Father. We shall always walk with you, King of Glory. We shall enjoy our journey with you as we get to heaven. It shall never be 
something new in our lives. But it shall be a life we cultivated when we are still on earth. In Jesus' mighty name. As we are getting into this week, Father, let people, may you reveal yourself to people and may you reveal your ways to them that they may walk uprightly with you in Jesus' mighty name we pray Amen, Amen. 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 the grace of, of our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and the love, love of God and, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now, now and forevermore Amen. Amen put on your mask Cover your, your mouth and nose. Wash your hands regularly. We want to combat the spread of COVID-19. Let this COVID... This COVID-19 wave go. Guno omuyaga gwalumi mama ugwere kagugende wala. To leave us safe to the glory of His name. Gutuleke fenga tulivala mukuluo gulu mizeri nyali akatonda. Just bow your head and pray for our nation. Katikutamia kumutwe gwa wanso sabire guanga lino Uganda. Father, in the name of Jesus. Kitafe muri nyeri ayes. We thank you for Uganda. Tukwe bazole guanga lino Uganda. This is the country you have given us. Lino lye guanga lye watua. We are citizens in this country. Tuliba tuze mudio. We are not foreigners. Te tuliba guira. We are called in this country to, grow, to bring glory to the entire world. Uganda has a greater calling. To revive nations. To return nations back to the Lord. Lord, we humble ourselves before you. As a nation where we have sinned. May you forgive us, O Father. We we'll repent for Uganda. For the blood that has been poured on the streets. Lord, forgive Give us for the blood that has been poured in Shilines. Witchcraft. Sorcery. Lord, we have sinned against you. May you forgive us, O oh Father. May you heal our land. Let every form of sickness and disease be compressed down to the glory of your name. The wide spread of, of, of fru and cough. And, and every form of fever. Malaria, unknown diseases of infection. We combat it in the power of God. We break God. it in the name of Jesus. As this church, Lord, which you have established in, we have established in this country. Lord, may you establish us strongly and powerfully to bring glory to this nation. And to bring glory to your name. May you establish our finances. We pray for the finances of this nation. Let every coin in Uganda gain, gain value in, in Jesus' mighty name. Let the people of Uganda, Uganda prosper to the glory of your name. Let the people of this church prosper to the glory of your name. Those who are watching us on YouTube, we pray for their lives. We pray for their prosperity. No sickness should be in their bodies. We refute it in Jesus' name. We command it to lose in Jesus' name. In every form of diabetes, pressure, AIDS and every form of disease, we combat in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen. May God bless you.